Hi everyone, welcome back to another video. Hope you all are doing well. Before going into the main part of this video, let me just thank each and everyone who joined the live session on Instagram for the queries on English 360. If you are not aware of the program yet, it's a spoken English program I launched recently with a team of certified trainers to help you build confidence in speaking English fluently. We have 70 plus members already joined, waiting for the classes to begin on January 10th. So, if you are looking forward to improve your ability in speaking English efficiently and fluently, do hurry up. Join English 360. I shall give all the details below in the description box. So, back to today's vlog. Many of you had asked me on my last dinner party vlog, how do I shop grocery for any such party arrangements at home? Let me show you how I do it. I write down the menu first, the number and what dishes I prepare depends on the time I have. Then for each dish, I write down the main ingredients I will need. I tick what I have and circle what I don't have at home. This is done for all the dishes I'll be preparing. It doesn't include the common spice powder, salt, pepper, unless needed. Now the quantity I buy will be just for the party, not any extra. And also here again depends on the number of dishes I'm cooking. Now if you are preparing many dishes, the quantity for the ingredients for each need to be less comparing to lesser number of dishes prepared. My guests are coming for dinner and dinner menu is a lot more different compared to lunch. Lunch will be mainly rice dishes. Dinner would be rice and rotis or puris or any other. If you are a beginner in hosting parties then you will have to prepare ahead to make it easy. So there are a lot of factors that's involved and this becomes easy to handle with experience. The recipes are mixed up here and there in this video, but I'll mention the timings in the description box so it's easy for you to check out. I started my preparation after breakfast. The menu is as seen on the screen. For tandoori chicken, I'm soaking some dried red chilies. You can go for Kashmiri chili as well. I have used almost 15 in number. Soak in hot boiling water for some time. Into a blender goes in coriander leaves, mint leaves, 20 shallots, one whole garlic bulb and a medium sized ginger. Then goes the soaked red chilies. Now use the chicken with skin, cut in large size. If you want to know how to cut a whole chicken, I shall share my video link in the description box. Poke few times to get it well marinated. Add the marinade in a large bowl. Add around half cup curd, two tablespoon lemon juice. Then add one teaspoon red chili powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, one teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, one teaspoon garam masala powder, one teaspoon cumin powder. Mix well. Add salt and mix. Add the chicken pieces and mix well. Let that sit until needed. I kept that on the countertop. You may keep it in the refrigerator if you want. Hummus is what I love to prepare for any parties. It's a healthy, tasty and easy to prepare dip. One and a half cup cooked chickpeas into the blender. 
and in goes three cloves garlic, three or four tablespoon tahini, two tablespoon lemon juice, four or five tablespoon olive oil, and quarter cup water. Now the secret ingredient to make the most creamiest hummus is adding few ice cubes. I added four ice cubes. Mine is medium size cubes. This does wonders. The hummus goes very creamy and very tasty. So do not skip this step. I poured the hummus into a bowl, covered and placed this in the fridge. I prepared another Arabic dish named Jerish. For this you will need Egyptian rice which is normally used for the authentic recipe. Last time I had prepared the same with Jiragashala rice. You may use Basmati if you don't have either. I use one and a half cup Egyptian rice. Then you will need broken wheat. Again, same quantity, one and a half cup. Wash and soak this for three or four hours. I'm preparing a new dish, fish kotari. It's fish stuffed with fish. So basically for here the stuffing, I'm using prawns filling. For that you will need to heat some coconut oil, fry some curry leaves, then saute four garlic cloves crushed and a small piece ginger crushed. Then add 6 or 7 sliced shallots. Let it saute for a few minutes. Add half teaspoon turmeric powder and mix well. Then to this add 1 kilo prawns chopped into very tiny pieces. You have to cook the prawns just for a minute and turn off the flame. If there's water then put on high flame and let it be dry. Another dish I'm preparing is creamy beef pasta. So to cook the beef, heat some vegetable oil and saute two medium onion slices. Add few curry leaves. Once the onion is soft, add crushed ginger and garlic and saute well till the raw smell go. Then add one kilo beef cut in small pieces. When the color changes to pale, add 1 teaspoon Kashmiri red chilli powder, half teaspoon turmeric powder, 2 teaspoon coriander powder, half teaspoon garam masala powder. Mix well for 2 minutes. Chop in 1 large tomato. Add salt. Mix well. Cover the cooker. Log the pressure. Cook on high flame till the first whistle, then reduce the flame to low and cook for 15 minutes. Parallelly cooking the pasta. This is 400 grams packet. Normally, I prepare macaroni salad. As there is pasta recipe already in the menu, I used potato. Into a bowl, add half cup mayonnaise and half cup fresh cream. Then add half teaspoon salt, two tablespoons sugar, two or three tablespoons olive oil, half teaspoon crushed black pepper, half teaspoon chili flakes and mix well. Then goes one large potato that was cubed and steamed. One apple chopped. 1 cucumber chopped, few coriander leaves chopped and few dill leaves chopped. Mix really well and adjust the seasoning as per your taste. Chill this in the fridge. Now preparing jirish. Into a pressure cooker, add quarter cup olive oil and a cube of butter around 50 grams. Then saute one large onion chopped. Saute for some time. Now you can add chicken or any meat into this and remove the bones later but I added stock. Here I added vegetable stock. You can add chicken stock as well. Once the onion is a bit fried, add 1 teaspoon cumin powder. Mix for a few seconds. Then goes in the soaked rice and wheat. 
drain and add. Roast it for 2 minutes. Now add hot water. Add 4 cups in the same cup you measure the rice and beat. When this starts boiling, cover the cooker, lock the pressure and cook for 2 whistles. If you are using the same cooker as mine, cook on medium flame for 3 minutes. I transfer the cooked beef into another cooking pot. To this add cooking cream around half to 3 fourth cup. Mix all together for 2 minutes. Add salt and chopped coriander leaves. Then add cooked pasta and mix really well. Add a cup of hot water to make it more wet and creamy. Cook for a minute and turn off the flame. This dish is ready. As a dessert, I prepared a quick and easy one this time. I normally buy Betty Crocker brand for brownies. This is nothing sponsored. I baked this a bit earlier and kept aside because I will need my oven later to cook the chicken and fish. If you can serve warm brownies, it will be even more tastier. Make the brownie batter as per the instruction given on the packet. This is ready. Just like hummus, I made another dip that's tzatziki sauce. For this, you will need to grate one cucumber. That's three cloves garlic finely chopped, few dill leaves again chopped. You will need Greek yogurt or thick curd for this. Add around 2 cups into a bowl, add the garlic and the leaves. To this goes 2 or 3 tablespoons olive oil, salt, crushed black pepper, 3 tablespoons lemon juice. If you have a muslin cloth, use that to squeeze out the excess water from the cucumber. As I didn't have, I used my hand. Add that to the curd and mix everything really well. This is ready. Keep that in the fridge. Meanwhile, rice and wheat is cooked. This will be thick. To this add 1 little laban or buttermilk and 1 cup fresh milk. The consistency will be like haris. It should be semi-thick. It will get more thick as it sits. So later you can add hot water if you need. Fry some onion in butter and keep aside. This will be used to garnish the jerish. Keeping this aside in a smaller bowl. Preparing fish kotari. This is white fillet fish. You will have to season it with some salt and pepper first. Now place a flat surface being on top and add the prawn filling. Now roll, do not roll tight. Place it in a baking tray.
the tray is packed well now melt some butter add 2 teaspoon kashmiri red chilli powder and half teaspoon turmeric powder fry this for few seconds and pour this over the fish bake in a preheated oven at 190 degrees celsius for 20 to 25 minutes into another pan heat some oil saute two medium onions sliced then add two small tomatoes sliced the fish is all baked and cooked there is enough stock in it meanwhile placing the chicken pieces on the rack to get it grilled as there's enough stock in the fish pour it into the sauteed onion and tomato let this get evaporated with the flavors induced in it grill the chicken in a preheated oven at 220 degrees celsius for 1 hour once the onion and tomato turn to a darker shade and becomes really mushy add this on top of the fish The delicious fish kotari is ready. For the dessert, to add to the brownies, I prepared a mixture of strawberries and fresh cream. Chop some strawberries into a bowl. Add 1 or 2 tablespoons sugar, then add 1 cup fresh cream. Mix and keep this in the refrigerator. After 30 minutes of grilling the chicken, spread some melted butter on top of each piece. Flip to the other side and again add melted butter. Now cook for 30 minutes more. As I always say, do not forget to clean your sink and stove as you get time in between or else it will pile up. seasoning my iron kadai as soon as i finished using it i slice some capsicum cucumber and celery to dip in the hummus and tzatziki sauce drizzle some olive oil sprinkle some salt and pepper Jerish was thick so mixed with some hot boiling water to make it loose. Served it by garnishing the fried onion in butter. Drizzle some olive oil over the tzatziki sauce and hummus. Sprinkle some cumin powder over the hummus. And that's our dinner treat for our guest. I didn't take much video while having food as I didn't want them to feel uncomfortable with the camera on. I joined them for dinner and then later served brownie with strawberry cream. couldn't end the vlog properly as well as i was fully with them this is what happens when i have families at home but i hope you all enjoyed this video do try the recipes and let me know your feedback see you soon with another one until then take care bye bye